Welcome to your lesson in the single foot lock, which we will learn off the mat and in the air. We'll begin off the mat. Wrap your leg from the outside around. Lengthen your leg. Bottom hand grabs by your knee. Pull the fabric until it lines up with your hip. Reach the fabric across your foot towards your baby toe and step underneath your arch. Stand up and there you have a foot lock. To get out, step back, pop it off, and it falls right down. Okay, so again in slow motion, right hand is up high to help you balance. Wrap your leg from the outside in. Bottom hand, which is my left, grabs by my knee. Notice my right leg stays lifted at a 45 degree angle. Pull the fabric until it lines up to your hip. Reach the fabric across your foot towards your baby toe. Bend your knee and step inside your slack. Fabric is on the inner thigh. Reach the arms up high and stand. For now, keep your bottom foot slightly flexed to avoid twisting your ankle. Step back and pop your foot lock off. One more time on the floor, wrap the leg outside in. Grab by the knee, pull to the hip. This gives you the right amount of slack so when you step, your foot lock is comfortable. And then to get out, step back and down. A common mistake is pulling too much slack, which leaves you too close to the mat. Okay, another mistake is not pulling enough slack, which results in a very tight, uncomfortable footlock. In general, twisted fabric hurts, so you want to aim for the fabric to be nice and flat around the foot, especially on your arch. All right, so once you have the hang of this on the mat, we can take it up in the air. The airbound version, you can start just from one climb up, Reach the hands a little higher than the height of the top of the head and drop your hips back into an L sit. The top leg lifts. I use the outside of the foot to push. The bottom leg wraps and I step in. To get it off, pop your foot lock off. Let the tail fall, rewrap and step. We'll do that again in slow motion. From a classic climb, notice my hands are a little higher than the height of the top of the head. Hips drop back. The right leg stays lifted using your core and hip flexor. Left leg pushes out. I give myself about a foot and a half of slack. Bottom leg bends to step inside the slack. Bottom leg stays straight as you stand up. Again, to get it off, use the free foot to pop your foot lock off and then rewrap. Okay, so when we do our foot lock, we want to make sure that our arms are not too high or too low. That's very important. We also want to use slack management, meaning we don't want to have too much slack or too little. You have to find just the right amount that works for you. When you step into your foot lock, ideally the bottom supporting leg is straight. Common mistake is reaching the hands up too high, not giving yourself enough slack. And when you go to step in, you feel like you need to bend your bottom knee to step and the foot lock feels terrible because it's pinching your foot. Okay, so our goal is to find just the right amount of slack keeping the fabric flat around the foot and keeping the supporting leg nice and straight when we stand. All right, so foot lock will be used a lot during aerial silks. It's important to learn this really well. Thanks for joining me, guys.